Hello everyone, Rabbi Rosen here, hoping that all is well with you. Also hoping that the weekend weather will prove to be manageable for us all so that we can all be safe and warm. It is a special weekend as we head into the commemoration of the life and the work of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. this coming Monday. In March of 1968, hundreds of rabbis gathered at an annual rabbinical assembly convention and were privileged to hear Dr. King speak at that time. It occurred just 10 days before his assassination in April of that year. It was a moving and powerful experience, and our own Rabbi Kessler can attest to that moment in time as well as the many opportunities in which the two had the opportunity and privilege of meeting and marching together. At that time, Dr. King spoke hopefully about the future of America and had this to say about a special moment. He said that he had heard the singing of We Shall Overcome more times than perhaps any other anthem with respect to encapsulating and capturing the spirit of the civil rights movement. But he had never heard it in the version that was offered there, Anu Nit Gaber, We Shall Overcome in Hebrew. And he was deeply, deeply moved. This Shabbat is the Sabbath of song. It is Shabbat Shira, named for that triumphant song of joy and redemption that the Israelites sang upon leaving Egypt. And in so many ways, the Israelite and the Jewish experience of moving from enslavement to freedom has inspired over the centuries many other peoples in their drive to become independent and free and to live lives of dignity and hope. The coming together of this Shabbat of Song of Triumph and Martin Luther King's birthday proved to us the power of this idea all over again. Human beings were meant to be free. We were designed to be able to live lives of autonomy and of worship and of con contribution and of giving and of love. And I hope that you will join us this Shabbat because we too will not only sing the song at the sea, but also Anunit Gaber, we shall overcome in Hebrew, in testimony to that powerful message. Shabbat Shalom, wishing you all the very best.